Hello there. I'm going to explain to you in under six minutes everything you need to know about flashing tomato firmware on your ASUS RT-N66U. Do this at your own risk. I'm not responsible if anything happens. Okay, we're going to download the firmware restoration utility first. Follow the link in my description. Choose your operating system. Click Utilities and download ASUS Firmware Restoration Utility, whatever the latest version is. Okay, and now go to this web page, link also in the description to download the Tomato Firmware. Click on the most recent build, in this case it's 132. Choose uh, ASUS RT-N66U 64K, and then you can choose All-in-One or VPN. I would recommend All-in-One, it has all of the features including VPN. Okay, now go ahead and install the firmware restoration utility that you just downloaded and unzip the firmware TRX file from the zip file. I'm not going to show you how to do these things. If you don't know how to install software and unzip a file, then you really shouldn't be flashing firmware. Okay, so what you want to do is power off the router, press and hold the WPS button. While holding the WPS button, turn the power on to the router and keep holding the WPS button for around 10 seconds. Okay, so go into your control panel and choose Network and Sharing Center. This is the instructions for Windows 7. Other versions of Windows may be slightly different. You then want to change adapter settings. Now disable your Wi-Fi adapter. And then enable your LAN adapter, local area connection. So after that's enabled, go to properties, choose TCP IP version 4, properties, now set an IP address 192.168.1.10 Subnet mask, that's fine, 255.255.255.0 and default gateway is 192.168.1.1 and you don't have to worry about the DNS So just connect a LAN cable from your computer to any one of these four LAN ports. Okay, to put the router into firmware restoration mode, power off, press and hold the reset button, keep holding it, turn the power button on, and just keep holding that reset button until you see the power light on the front of the router flashing on and off slowly. Okay, open the firmware restoration software and browse for the file, the TRX firmware file, and then click upload. And if you're still in firmware restoration mode and you're connected to your computer with a LAN cable, then this should work and it should start uploading. If you get a failure to connect to your router, it's probably because you waited too long between putting your router into firmware restoration mode and clicking upload. So if that's the case, just uh, put the router back into firmware restoration mode again and upload the file right away. It could also fail for various other reasons. The firmware flashing itself could fail if you have a corrupted file or maybe you forgot to set the static IP address. If you if you can't get it to work, um, try reflashing the official ASUS firmware. You can download that from the same website where you got the restoration tool from. And then after flashing the official firmware again, reset the NVRAM values and just try reflashing the tomato firmware again after flashing the official ASUS firmware. Now I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up to make the video shorter. Okay, and after the firmware file is uploaded, the status will say system recovery is in progress. 
I'm just going to speed this up as well to make the video short. Okay, that's all done. Now you're going to be waiting for quite a long time to wait for the system to reboot. I believe it takes around 10 minutes, so just be patient and wait for that system to fully reboot. Okay, after the router has rebooted, you want to do the same thing you just did in step 3 and clear or reset the NVRAM again. And you do that by holding the WPS button while turning on power to the router and holding for about 10 seconds. Congratulations, you're now finished. Just open your browser and enter the default gateway 192.168.1.1, default username and password admin, A-D-M-I-N. And also don't forget to go back and re-enable your Wi-Fi adapter if you want to connect by Wi-Fi. And also reset the IP settings on your LAN adapter to obtain those automatically.